With the release of Maya 2014, Autodesk has started including the PySide libraries. PySide allows users to access the Qt framework inside of their Python scripts. This is a huge benefit for TDs and tools developers because they no longer require their users to have a separate install of either PySide or PyQt. Beginning with Maya 2014, any scripts or tools created using PySide will work automatically. In this lesson, we'll be taking a very quick look at PySide by creating a Hello World application. We will be displaying a new window that contains the label Hello World. Although this is a very simple tutorial, it will demonstrate a few of the very important concepts of using PySide in Maya. So let's get started. To begin with, I need to import several different modules, both for Maya and PySide. So I'll start with Maya. And I'm going to need the Open Maya UI module. And I'll just import this as OMUI. Next, I'll import two PySci modules, Qt Core and Qt GUI. These are the most common modules you'll be using. Finally, I need to import the wrap instance function from the Shaboken module. The wrap instance function will allow me to convert pointers to Python objects. And we'll see this right away. The first function I'm going to create will return Maya's main window Qt widget. This will act as the parent for the new window we'll be creating. So we'll just call this function Maya main window. And I first need to get the pointer to that window. For this, I'll be using the open Maya UI module. And from the MQT util class, I'll be getting the main window. So this is returning a pointer to Maya's main window. Next, I need to wrap that using the wrap instance function. And this will convert it to a Python object. So I'll take my main window pointer, cast it to along, then I need to tell it that I want to wrap it as a Q widget object. Q widgets are fundamental elements inside of Qt. Next, I'll create my hello world function. This function will create the new window with a label hello world. So I'm just going to call this function hello world. Next, I'll create my label object. So we'll just call this label. And this is going to be a Q label object. I'll pass in the text for the label, which is just hello world. And then I'll pass in the parent widget, which we'll call the function Maya main window. Next, I'm going to modify the behavior of this label so that it knows it's a window. So I'm going to use the set window flags and I'll use qt core dot qt dot window. This will allow the label object to be displayed with a windows border on the screen. And finally, I need to show my label. And that's it. To execute this, I just need to run the hello world function. I'm just going to do if name equals main, and I'll run 
hello world. When I execute this code, I'll see that my new window has been created and I've got the label hello world. On Windows and Linux, this widget will always stay on top. If I close down charcoal, it'll always stay on top of the main window. With Mac, this is a little different and you need to make one modification to your code. Instead of setting this to window, you'll need to set this to tool. You can use the tool flag on Windows and Linux as well, and I do recommend it. It will change the display of the window, and you'll see now that this is a tool widget, which means I've only got a close button, and the display of this window is a little different. More importantly though, when you're working on a Mac and you use the tool flag, this window will always stay on top of Maya's main window. If you use the Windows flag, this new window will tend to fall behind Maya's main window. This concludes our Hello World application using PySide in Maya 2014.